What's going on, folks? Your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. Of course, uh, your personification of greatness when it comes to um, professional wrestling talk here in the YouTube wrestling community and in the internet wrestling community on this Thursday, January 19th. And um, yeah, uh, there's going to be a rant. So you already know because you already saw in the title what i'm going to be ranting about but first and foremost i want to talk about this um breaking news story that came out from the wall street journal uh wwe's vince mcmahon agreed to a multi-million dollar settlement with a former referee who said he raped her in 1986. okay it's typical Vince McMahon power play. Just throw money at Rita Chatterton and poof, it all goes away. You already got your money. Now let me run my fucking corporation. You got to clear the record before anybody wants to entertain an offer for a sale. That's that's basically what fucking happened here, folks. This is all because of WWE. They're, they want to be sold. And that's why Vince McMahon uh, agreed to a multi-million dollar settlement here. But my gripe... There was a lot of speculation last night. If you're listening to wrestling podcasters, people like JD, people like Just Alex, anybody that has a computer with recording equipment, they did their tributes of Jay Briscoe last night. And there were speculations about Warner Brothers Discovery not wanting to do a tribute to Jay Briscoe. And I was listening uh, to Wrestling Observer Radio this morning uh, while I was at the gym. And uh, Dave Meltzer had talked about that. And AEW couldn't do a show like that because of Warner Brothers Discovery. They wouldn't allow it. And... This really got me pissed off. Because should Jay Briscoe have been honored on Dynamite? Absolutely. Of course. Now, is it Tony Khan's fault that it didn't happen? You know, I'm actually going to say it's not his fault. I'm actually defending Tony Khan here. Because... When you watched Dynamite last night, and trust me, as a wrestling fan last night, it was tough to watch two hours of Dynamite. Knowing the fact that in your mind, that you're thinking about this guy's family. Hell, we woke up Wednesday morning, and we found out that one of his daughters had to go in for surgery. Back surgery. Because... She couldn't move her leg. And I was like, I hope that she's not paralyzed. I really hope this kid can walk again. And, and that came into my mind all day yesterday. Thinking about that girl. And... And the reason for it is because of the fact that Warner Brothers Discovery executives in Warner Brothers Discovery blacklisted the Briscoes because of the fact that Jay Briscoe tweeted an anti-gay comment 
back in 2013. And since then, the guy's apologized for it. It's a typical fucking corporation that does this shit. And to me, it's fucking ridiculous. Blacklisted or not. You know what I call this situation? Extraordinary circumstances. That's what I call it. And I do feel bad for Tony Khan. I feel bad for all of those motherfuckers in that locker room yesterday. That new Jay Briscoe. Those wrestlers that came in at a last minute to do a Ring of Honor show that's going to be aired on YouTube, that's going to be uh, aired on Honor Club, and it's going to be free of charge. And that's why he did do this tri tribute show after Dynamite. He had no choice. You got to listen to fuck it, fucking a corporation. All because of fucking tweets that go all the way back to 2013, almost 10 years ago. But nowadays you got fucking motherfuckers on Twitter getting fucking banned or suspended for saying something Stupid. It does look bad on Warner Brothers Discovery. Don't blame this shit on Tony Khan. Blame this shit on Warner Brothers Discovery. Just fuck Warner Brothers Discovery. Fuck them. And I'm going to put a link in the description down below to um, help Jay Briscoe's family because they need it during this difficult time. I mean, it's it's really tough even two days after his passing. And almost 48 hours after his passing. And there's so much great stories out there about Jay Briscoe. And that's kind of what pisses me off about Warner Brothers Discovery. I mean, this guy... And there's a bunch of family guys. Family-oriented wrestlers. Sure, they go into that squared circle. And they bust their necks for 10, 15, 20, sometimes 35 minutes. And that's what Jay Briscoe did. He was a hard fit, a smash mouth, um, hard knocks type of wrestler. Did his thing. Wanted to go home. See his family. I like professional wrestlers like that. And that's why I do respect guys... Now, like Kevin Owens. Especially the fact that Kevin Owens has a son that's autistic. Anybody that is family first, wrestling second, you got my respect. And he was just a help in his community. You know... He coached, I believe he coached the middle school football team. I know his father from, you know, listening to Meltzer today. Uh, his father was a football coach. I believe his mom is, um, I guess she does something with the uh, the school community the uh, in Delaware. Um, so, yeah, um, it, it really is a big loss to... Um, Whatever community he came from. It's just. The guy has so much respect. And you know. Let's help out and donate. You know. And let's continue to pray. 
you know, pray for this family because, I mean, the power of prayer, it does help. You know, when the Ma Hamlin went down, we all prayed. And look what happened. He had a full recovery. Let's help this family. Because they're going through dark times right now and they're going to need the help in the future. And I'll tell you this right now. With these donations, and we saw this with the Ma Hamlin, with the whole toy drive thing, how so many people donated. Y'all do that. And they get like $300,000, $400,000 of donations. You can build scholarships to remember Jay Briscoe. And I'm going to say it again. My heart. And my condolences go to his family. I can't imagine how his wife is feeling right now. I can't even imagine how his brother is feeling. Yesterday was his birthday. It was, quite frankly, the worst birthday of his life. And like I said, with the wife too, I mean, now you have one daughter who is critical but in stable condition. And the other one who just had surgery and is in, like, critical condition in the ICU. And I really hope that we all can come together as a wrestling community and help them. So that's basically what I have to say about this, guys. Um, Till then, Yankee Messiah, I'm out. If I have any more wrestling gossip to talk about today, I will do so. Till then, peace.